Good morning students. Today our topic is malware and this is related to unit 2 cyber safety. So in this lecture we are going to discuss different types of malware and the definition of malware of course. So let us start. First of all what is the what do you mean by malware? So it is basically a combination of two words malicious and software. So we can say that malicious software is also called as a malware. And what is the meaning of malicious software? These software somehow damage our data that is uh, that's why they are called the malicious software so software of the program so the software of the program that damage our data is called the malware that is the general term now when we talk about the definition of the malware so it is a software designed with the intention of causing serious damage to data okay and second thing is stealing information on a computer network so they can steal information on a computer network also and allowing computer to be controlled remotely without the owner knowledge and fourth important thing regarding to the malware is can be cleaned by antivirus so these are the four important points regarding to the malware first thing is it is a combination of the two words malicious second is software so malicious software are also called as malware second thing is it is a software designed with the intention of causing serious damage of the data second important thing and uh, they can steal information using computer network and the most important thing they are allowing computing to be controlled remotely with the, without the owner's knowledge so nobody wants to damage its own data so they don't allow although they don't, they don't give any type of information to the user about the data just they steal the data delete the data damage the data and even they control on the data and they pass data from one computer system to another from your computer system to another computer system with using networks so that is the main work of that uh, malware now i think the definition is clear to all of you regarding to the malware so now it's time to discuss different types of uh, malware so first of all types of malware here you can easily see on the screen these are the different types of malware spyware is there ransomware is there rootkit adware virus keylogger worm remote access trojan horse these are the different types of the malware so the classification is based on the fact that they damage data in a certain way or even some malware don't damage the data they just copy the data and they send the data and uh, so these are different types of malware and each malware is different in by um, with each other each uh, malware is different to another in uh, in terms of uh, its functionality in terms of uh, damage or in terms of you can say that the use the sensitive data whether they can delete the data or it may be possible that they don't delete the data or they just pass the data to the network and uh, or just they use the data for their own purpose so on the behalf of that different malwares are classified and so these are the different types of malwares the important malwares are uh, bombs trojan horse um, adwares spywares so these are the ransomwares is another important malware so these are the different types of malware here there is a brief description description of the all types uh, of main types of the malware here you can easily see that basically in it is in short of the malware software which can be used to manipulate your computer and steal your information that is the simplest definition of the malware malware basically malware are the software which can be used to manipulate your computer and steal information so two things which a malware can done malware can do and these two things are first of all they manipulate your computers and second thing they steal your information so first one is spyware so as the name says spyware so it collects information about users without their knowledge and they send information to another computer they don't damage the data they just steal the data 
so that is that's why they are called the spyware second is a uh, virus virus basically damage your data and files by download from the internet when you download software from the internet virus comes from that software also and uh, they delete the data and damage the data one of the most dangerous malware is ransomware basically it blocks the pc taking control encrypt your files and demands a ransom to return them to you so these are they are used by the hackers most of the time so ransomware are the mostly dangerous malwares among all these next is a uh, adware your adware basically um, come from the word advertisement so adwares in adware adwords basically ad uh, word ref represent advertisements so automatically displays or downloads advertise advertising materials such as banners and pop-ups when a user is online and uh, next is a trojan horse and uh, it is a computer program that seems to be a game but in reality steals erase information so they steal or erase informations and last is worms so they repl replicate the files within the computer systems so we can say that it detects a space and slow your system by making copies of themselves repeatedly so that is the worm so that is a brief introduction about all the types of malware so now it's time to take them one by one first one is virus so first, first of all what is virus or what is the full form of virus so the full form of the virus is vital information resource under seized and it is a very important term and ask so many number of type of examination what is the full form of virus now i think you all of you are aware to the to this fact that the full form of the virus is vital information resource under seas and there are some popular viruses sometimes it is asked that name two or three viruses because uh, most of the student know the name of the antivirus but they don't know the name of the viruses so first one is jerusalem virus or israeli virus or it is also called as friday the 13th virus because uh, it activate every month um, date uh, 13 date of every month when there is a friday then brain or pakistani virus then april 1st virus ping pong or bouncing ball virus and stoned dark avengers these are the virus there is another question what is the name of the first virus that is introduced the so name of the first virus that uh, was introduced is a creeper virus and it is the first virus then detected in arpanet in the early 1970s so it is a very important question as far as general knowledge is concerned creeper virus arpanet is a first network you always also know that concept of the Arpanet when we talk on the Arpanet in unit 2 and networking when we discuss the concept of networking so name of the first virus creeper virus this is a very important point creeper virus is one of the important and first virus that was introduced and so there are some important points related to that first of one is full form full form is vital information resource under seas second is name of the virus different these are the different name of the viruses you can easily see my screen jerusalem virus or it is also called as friday the 13th virus always remember that brain of pakistani virus april 1st virus ping pong virus or bouncing ball stone or dark avengers and the first name of the first virus was that was introduced is creeper virus so these are some important terms 
now next is computer virus so what is the definition of computer virus what is a computer virus note uh, the important point is computer virus is a type of malware so the computer virus is a computer program that can reproduce itself and spread from one computer to another and leaving infection as it travels like a human virus so there is a similarity between the human virus and the computer virus both of work um, similarity between the computer virus and the human virus is that both are affected both uh, both gives infections one gives infection to a human and second one gives infection to a computer so computer virus is a computer program that can reproduce itself they have ability to reproduce themselves and uh, spread from one computer to another and leaving infection as it travels like a human virus second important thing the which is the smallest definition of the computer virus is computer virus are self executing programs it means they execute themselves or without taking the permission from the user so this is the smallest definition of the virus virus are nothing but only the self executing programs and uh, they can damage the files they can reproduce themselves replicate themselves so this is the definition of the virus so some virus may cause only testing effects while others can damage your hardware softwares or even files almost all viruses are attached to an executable files so most of the viruses are attached to an executable file and uh, they execute themselves without taking the permission from the user and it is important to note that the virus cannot be spread without a human action okay and because the virus is spread by human action people will unknowingly continue the spread of a computer virus by sharing infected files or sending emails with virus as attachment in the emails so virus are spread most of the time by using emails or by using sending infected files which contain virus so these are the some basic points regarding to a virus so okay first one is computer virus is a computer program then they that can reproduce itself and spread from one computer to another second definition regarding to virus is virus are self executing programs third important thing some virus may cause only testing effects while other can damage your hardware software or files and uh, without human being virus cannot be spread so these are the some important point regarding to computer virus next type of malware is adware so as the name suggest adware means uh, adware basically related to the term advertisement so the malware related to the advertisement is called also called as a malware and also called as adware now definition adware is any software program that causes advertising banner to be displayed to the user okay and adware helps recover programming development cost and help helps to hold down the price of the application to the user and these are come mostly with freewares and sharewares applications like the opera kaza imesh etc and common adwares are gain hotba bonziwadi weather ghost sido and some are harmless but more tracks your habits and personal information so there are three important thing regarding to adware first of all adware shows the advertisement and the second important thing that they comes basically with freeware means that software for which you cannot pay anything so when sir nothing is free in this world basically so when a software come with a uh, appears to as a freeware then most of the time what happens that uh, a adware is is attached with that freeware so basically they show the advertisement related to a particular product so using this 
they can recover their programming or development cost so adware comes with the most of the time freeware or the shareware shareware are the software uh, which we can easily share from one person to another and there are different types of adware as uh, given here so basically adware are any software program that causes advertisement banner ought to be displayed to the user next is trojan horse so what is trojan horse that is uh, one of the most dangerous malware a trojan disguises itself as desirable code of software once downloaded by unsuspecting users the trojan can take control of victim systems for malicious purposes and trojan may hide in the games apps or even software patches or they may be embedded in attachment including in phishing email concept of phishing is already discussed in our last lecture so when i when a uh, phishing when there is a discussion about the phishing then i told um, they are the concept of the trojan horse so first of all the first point which is very important regarding the trojan horse the trojan horse basically disguises itself as a desirable code of the software so most of the person just uh, download that file which uh, contain trojan horses and once downloaded by unsuspected unsuspecting user the trojan can take control of the victim systems they can take data from a system trojan horse can take data from a system and pass it to the network or even they are capable to damage your data and they are hardly to detect the most important thing is trojan horses are hardly to detect because uh, uh, they disguises itself as a desirable code of the software and most of the time trojan horses may hide in uh, in games different in games different apps or even different software patches and they may be embedded in attachment attachment included the phishing emails so that is the definition of the trojan horse some more important points regarding the trojan horse are they appears as interesting programs but when installed it allows intruders to access and read your files and one of the most popular anti uh, one of the most popular trojan horse is i love you uh, trojan horse that come i think in year 2000 so they appears as a interesting program and uh, but when you install it um, they gain the access of your computer system they can delete your files they can send your file from one, one your computer system to another computer system using network so and they appears to be as harmless or they are hidden in a particular game or particular applications which you download or they are uh, shown and they show as they are desirable software or applications and uh, second point regarding the trojan horses a trojan horse program is unique from the computer attack that allow a remote user a means of gaining access to a victim machines without their knowledge that is the most important things so trojan horse program is a unique form of computer attack basically it is a type of computer attack and it is a type of malware also and it allows a remote user remote user means a user which is uh, very far away from from you and even they even that person can access your computer systems without your knowledge they can and uh, it may be possible that he or she may delete your computer files or uh, takes your personal information by using network through trojan horse and last important thing regarding to trojan horse are trojan horse initially appeared to be harmless but later proves to be extremely destructive so initially they appears to be harmless and uh, they enter into your computer system and they show that they are the harmless but uh, when they activate they are uh, proves to be extremely destructive that is uh, another important point regarding to the trojan horse now um, we conclude the concept of we can conclude the concept of trojan horse so basically a trojan horse is a computer program that appears to be useful 
but they actually does damage second important thing regarding the trojan horse is it spreads when people are lured into opening a program because they think it comes from a legitimate source second third important thing is recent trojan horse come in the forms of an email that include attachments so trojan horse are also come in the forms of email attachment and uh, Trojan horses can also be included in software that downloaded for free. Most of the time, they comes with a freeware or the free software. An example of Trojan horse is Happy Ninety Nine. So there are two examples that are discussed in Trojan horse. One is Happy Ninety Nine, and second is I Love It Trojan Horse. These are the name of some Trojan horse. So the most important thing regarding to the Trojan horse is that a Trojan horse is basically a computer program or a software that appears to be useful, um, but they once once they install into computer systems they actually does damage they are capable of damage of files they are capable of sending a files from one computer system to another so trojan horse horse are basically the most dangerous malware and they comes in the forms of email attachment also and uh, users confused because they thought that that uh, they comes from a leg legitimate source so trojan horse once enter into your computer system then they can actually damage your computer system next concept is spyware so as the name suggests spyware these are the malwares which uh, basically gather information about a person or an organization and their knowledge and then may send such information to another entity without the consumer consent or that asserts control over the computer without the consumer knowledge so that is called the spyware they basically they collect the data and send the data they don't delete the data into a computer system so that is the difference between a spyware and the adware and spyware and the trojan horse they just collect the data regarding to a person or an organization with their knowledge and uh, send such type of information to another entity without the consumer consent that is the most important thing without the consumer consent or uh, asserts control over a computer without the consumer knowledge in short we can say that application that send information from your computer to the creator of the spyware without your attention that is called the spyware that is the simplest definition of spyware so spyware are the application or the computer program or the software that send information from your computer to the creator of the spyware without your attention next important topic is ransomware so that is a most dangerous type of malware that malware locks out the user system and demand for ransom locks out of the user system means you are not, are not able to open your com open their computer system even op open certain files or connect to the internet something like that so it is a type of malware that locks the user systems and for that purpose he demands some ransom for that and uh, basically we can say that it creates zombie computer that is operated remotely so another person at another place can access your computer system without your permission and you are not able to use your computer system without the permission of that person which can remotely handle your computer system so we can say that it creates a zombie computer so and the computer and the person gain the access of your computer system and they op and uh, he or she may operate from another place to your computer system so most of the time different individuals or uh, big personalities and the businesses are targeted by the ransomware and uh, they did demand ransom for that purpose so if we don't fulfill the demand they can damage your data or damage your computer systems 
and this form of the extortion works on the assumption that the data is important enough to the user that they are willing to pay for recovery so they gain the access of the data that is very important for a person or for, uh, for any organization so they know that this is a very important data and if they delete that data then uh, it will it is very harmful for that organization so they demand for their ransom for that particular data so this form of the extraction work on the assumption that this data is important enough to the user that they are willing to pay for recovery but the most important thing is there is however no guarantee of the actual recovery even after payment is made so that is the most dangerous and dangerous thing about ransomware that uh, most of the hackers however delete or damage that data even after payment is made so that is the all about ransomware ransomware basically come come from uh, basically derived from the word ransom or uh, ransom malware is also known as the ransomware our next topic is worm so what is a worm a worm is basically self replicating piece of code that is spread via networks and usually don't require human interaction to propagate so worms are the malware that self replicate themselves so they don't damage the data but uh, they eat the memory so that's why it is considered as a malware the worm is a self replicating piece of code that spread via networks and usually doesn't require human interaction to propagate you can easily see the second definition of the worm a worm is a program that uses computer network and security hole to replicate itself to replicate itself okay wait a minute so a worm is a program that uses computer that uses computer network and security holes to replicate itself and uh, it scans the network for another machine that has a specific security holes and copies itself and third point regarding to the worms is use ups computer processing time and network bandwidth during replications the two important things are there first of all worm replicate itself and they eat memory second important thing is they use computer processing time and network bandwidth and due to this your computer may be slow down when there is a worm in a computer systems so this is a type of malware i think you are able to understand the concept of worm our last topic is rootkit so a rootkit is a rootkit is a set of tools which takes the ability to access a computer or computer network at an administrator level generally hackers install a rootkit on a pc then firstly get access to the user level either by exploiting a known vulnerability or breaking a password so rootkit is a set of tools which takes the ability to access the computer or a computer network at administrator level and this rootkit malware provides mask instruction to the attacker and also advise the way to access the computer and another machine on the network so these are the different types of malware which we discussed in this video so this is a very important topic and uh, ask so many number of time of examination so definitions are very important so learn the definitions in two or three lines with example that is sufficient for you i hope you all of you are, are able to understand the different types of malware thanks for watching this video